yes, I'm still at Mother's doing a honeydew list. What on earth could she need me to do out here? Oh, cute little froggy. Well, there's a couple things I'm going to do out here, but the one on this short video has to do with this birdhouse here. And when they moved in, the birdhouse group sold this to her for 10 bucks. That's it. <laughs> it's been sitting out here ever since. They put it on a, on a metal pole and stuff, and they said, don't paint it. You're not supposed to paint it. And we've got a little screw here holding that. And I'm not sure, I think bluebird season over with, but they say that you're supposed to uh, clean out the nest every year. Last time I was here, I cleaned this out and I'm not sure what the deal is in here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get you over here. stuff out each year. I should have gloves on, huh? I don't. One of these days, this thing's going to fall apart. I try not to do too much with it to get my human cooties in there. And you see there's like, there's like three, three layers here. I think I can see one about here here and that little bit was actually on top of that so at least at least two different seasons and my pops whenever he did this he tried to take this stuff and just put it back into nature done. Look. I don't know if these eggs are any good. Look. There's three, four, five, six. Oh, good grief. I didn't even see them in there. They, because see, they dug way down, way down deep. Oh, man. Can I possibly save this? I don't know. Oh, sorry, little guys. gloves on maybe so they don't get any smell. Oh, I don't know. I didn't think there was anything in there because those those eggs actually dropped all the way down to the bottom and they might not be any good. But we don't know that for sure do we? She had them down in there. I don't know if she's coming back for them or not. So much for cleaning out the, the nest. Huh. There's another one and that one broke. That one's broken. Shoot. Let's see. If I can get this back down in there. flying around. 
We thought the season was over. I guess what is the what is the positive that you can take out of this? My loss is your gain, I guess. Sorry, little guy. See this this looks like it's been broken from a while ago, so so those other ones, it, it's all dried up too, so those other ones may, there might not even be anything in them. And it might be because uh, they laid them. You remember, you saw two different nests in there, and they had dropped all the way down into the bottom nest, and, and maybe uh, they were down too far, and the, and the bluebird mama couldn't get down there far enough to sit on it who knows those could be all bad or they could still be good for all I know I'm leaving them in there but there's I guess a tip for you is to change out take this out every year you want to take them out the reason why you want to take them out is because each year you've got a nest then you've got another nest then you've got another nest and pretty soon it gets up high to the hole and this hole the bird wants to drop down to her nest down in here so it keeps the other critters from getting her her eggs like if a uh, let's say uh, an opossum or a raccoon let's say uh, tries to climb up the pole or down from the tree down he could reach his hand in there and reach his arm down to the eggs right here had you have cleaned it off and you only had one nest it would be down here same thing with other birds it protects them from different types of birds so forth and so on so do your homework when you're when you're gonna make a bird house for blue birds okay and clean your nest out once every year oh We'll see if those birds live or not. I'll check it next time I'm here. Maybe if there's no eggs in there, I'll know they all flew away. Or, like I say, they could be bad eggs. Well, that's all I got for this time. But I'll be back with more videos. And what am I going to talk to you about next time? Well, Mother's got a couple more things she wants me to do out here. One, i got to fix my, my pop's weather vane. Uh airplane isn't that kind of cool well in the wind it's been blowing back and forth and it's gotten all wonky and my mother's got some oleander bushes here and they've been growing up and I told her prune those back so you can see the so you can see the the airplane from the house she can't she can't really see it anymore she doesn't want to do anything with that so I'm going to take that and I'm going to dig it right in here through the hard pan I'm not quite sure how to do that but what am I going to show you next time maybe that I don't know. Maybe. Got a couple other projects Mother wants me to do. And see here, she's got stucco. See how rough the stucco is? Anything can climb up that. And look look what she's got up in here. It's not a whole lot of stuff, but it's, it's like bird poop. It's not guano. It's not bat guano. Uh, it's bird poop. And the birds, sometimes the birds fly up in here. And they just kind of wedge themselves up here and they poop. And I'm not sure why. See it down in there? That's bird poop. I do not think it's, it's bat guano. She's not seen any bats lately or anything like that in here. And I've actually seen birds flying around up, and, uh, up through in here. See, she's got some up in there. And I'm just going to clean that off before I've got my... Uh, my little giant ladder. See, there it is down there. And I'll take, what, what am I going to use to clean that up with? Yes, my simple green, of course. And another thing she's got going on is this screen. I, I think we've got it locked from inside and it's got a deadbolt on there. But when you throw the deadbolt, it's been hitting on the side. And there's no real way to adjust this. And it looks like it's, it looks like it's installed pretty close anyways. So they've got the They've got the one-way screws. The only way you can do use that screw is to tighten it up. You can't loosen the screw because that edge is is off. You'd have to take a pair of vi little small gr vice grips and crank it out and mark up 
I'm not going to do any of that. I'll have to ream out the uh, deadbolt uh, latch plate, and I'll show you how to do that too on a different video. Thanks again for watching my channel. I've always got something for you to save money around the house.